Good morning, everyone. It's Dr. Victoria Scarbo speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. I want to talk to you today about the astrology of Wednesday, March 20th. Today is the um, first day of spring in the Northern Hemisphere and the first day of fall in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, today, the sun moves into Aries and um, the moon moves into... Um, the moon moves into Libra, and actually, uh, right after the equinox, we have a full moon, and uh, it's a very powerful full moon. It's occurring at the first degree of both signs, um, meaning that the sun is at the Aries point, of course, because it moves into Aries. Uh, the moon is opposite the Aries point. Um, we have um, those two those two planetary bodies in the first degree. Of, um, of the sign, and we also have um, Uranus and Taurus in, uh, I think it's the, the first or the second degree of Taurus. So there is this sense of um, new, newness, uh, something new coming um, <clears throat> to fruition, really. There's a couple of other things happening today worth, worth mentioning. Um, actually, there's a lot of things happening today, and uh, it seems that um, in recent, in the recent, uh, in our recent history, <clears throat> as far as astrological things occurring, is that there's always a whole lot of things happening on one day, and that usually is some sort of there's some sort of big shift. Um, it occurred on the, um, it occurred back in November on um, was it the sixth? That was the, the the midterms. There were a lot of shifts and changes, and of course in the United States everything sort of. Uh, changed on that. Hold on one second. Bo! Come here! He's going a little bit further than he usually does. Probably following a scent. Um, so today we have a number of uh, aspects. We have Mars, the planet of our conscious desires and Pluto, the planet of our unconscious desires. <laughs> um, actually, Mars helps Pluto make our unconscious desires uh, conscious. Uh, there's a lovely trine between those two. It's a self-creative, self-expressive creative trine. Uh, so there's a lot of flow with that. Uh, Pluto is a transformational energy. It can be ter a terrible, uh, terrible sort of thing. Um, it's the, it's a death and rebirth. It, it, um, and terrible in that it, um, you know, everything serves on some level, but Pluto uh, can be sort of the, the the darkest of days, but it can also be the highest light. So with all these energies, it's kind of how you interact with them and how you respond to them um, that, that makes them, um, that sort of determines how um, they're going to work in your life. Uh, trines are supportive to each other with Mars and Pluto, but there's also not a lot of resistance. And so things can happen and they can happen quickly. And some of those things are, you know, their time has come to happen and other things um, can be challenging. So we have that energy today. We have a, a lovely sextile between Mercury and Saturn. Saturn is the planet of structure. Mercury is how we bring in information. And today, we, of course, we have Mercury still retrograde and Mercury in Pisces, which is, you know, a very spiritual, otherworldly vibration anyway. And so we have the opportunity to uh, sort of bring in some of that uh, otherworldly energy and actually bring structure to it. And so it is an opportunity to sort of bring spirit down to the planet and and uh, manifest something manifest and it, again uh, with Pisces it can be a beautiful thing it can be compassion it can be love it can be creativity it could also be illusion and delusion it all depends on how you interact with the energy so the energy in itself is not good or bad it's it's what we do with it it's how we interact with it that matters um, the full moon that occurs actually has a number of uh, yodes in the in the chart. Yodes are what we call the fickle finger fate, the 
a finger of God, it requires us to make adjustments. The adjustments that we need to make uh, as we move forward, uh, North Node in, in, uh, in Cancer, is uh, we need to work together. We need to realize that we are in this together and that uh, it really is the people and the love that we have for our fellow man that is going to lead us in the direction that we need to go. Um, letting go of the constructs, the, um, the conditionings that keep us separate, that keep us from hating each other or seeing each other as different because we're not different. And uh, the full moon will probably give us that awareness. This is also the day when light and dark are equal. And so there needs to be a balance here. It's also a super moon, meaning that the moon is very close to the earth. And so its influence is increased. So I think there's some other things. But let me take a look here. I do, I do have something in front of me that'll help me see if I missed anything here. <laughs> I could talk all day about this uh, full moon, but it's like, I don't know, 20 something degrees and I got to get inside because I'm in my jammies. <laughs> Have yourself a great day. Like and subscribe. Happy spring. Happy fall. Happy balance. Love one another. Bye.